night. Calls ringing out from the city hall to the federal government for additional assistance for struggling New Yorkers as New York State's eviction moratorium is set to expire in just days. News 12's Phil Tate telling us more tonight from Coney Island. Phil. Yeah, well, Amanda, the eviction moratorium set to expire on Saturday, which was first put into place in spring of 2020. Well, the mayor looking to get ahead of this as New Yorkers are worrying if they could be evicted just within days. Well, for advocates and the mayor, they say we are still in a crisis. With the eviction moratorium coming to an end over this weekend, in all likelihood, uh, we're going to face an, uh, an eviction crisis in the very near future. New Yorkers are nervous. Come Saturday, could thousands struggling to pay rent be tossed from their apartments? While what may seem fair to some people isn't always equitable, and fair and equitable don't always line up um, into a perfect line. Mayor Adams is urging the Treasury Department to reallocate unused emergency rental assistance program funds to bridge the gap for New Yorkers. Federal government must help working people uh, in the state, and that is our call. We want the federal government to they bring that relief. We want New Yorkers to know that they're not alone. Mayor Adams telling New Yorkers to know their rights. He's dedicating more resources to his public engagement unit's tenant helpline, which you can reach by calling 311. If someone applies for ERAP, their pending application will provide temporary protection from eviction. Um, although there is limited funding, it's very important, that, you know, whether uh, application is approved or not, we want to make sure that tenants still have those protections. Advocates echoing the mayor's message saying come Saturday, lockouts are illegal and all tenants have the right to stay in their home. We really want to urge people not to self evict. I know a lot of people are nervous with the eviction moratorium ending. But that doesn't mean that you don't have legal rights. It doesn't mean that you should lose your homes. Important to know that heading into this weekend, Phil, you did mention that hotline made available through 311. Are there any other services that are being offered to New Yorkers right now? Yeah, well, Amanda, important to note when calling that helpline, there is a right to counsel providing legal services for eligible New Yorkers who may be facing uh, proceedings for evictions. Amanda? All right.